Hi, so I'm back with some real skies and they're the real skies that are coming soon. These are the October skies and they're quite unusual. The last ones we've been looking at were, were looking at clouds. Um, here, this is actually what it looks like outside right now and this is a late summer afternoon, September 2014. So. That's where we are now. Um, okay, about sky. It's kind of a neutral sky, but if you look, do you see red and yellow in there as well? I've got some yellow that is reflecting. The sun is coming down to here and reflecting yellow and reflecting yellow back on back onto some mm, moisture up there. But very, very glassy sea and a nice plain sky. But it's not. There's a lot going on in there. And this one is one that I didn't um, carry on with. I sort of lost where I was. But again, this is an unfinished watercolor. This is what you put in first. And then you wait for it to dry and kind of move here and wait for that to dry. You can keep moving around. But then this one got so wet that by the time I was ready to get my details in, Everything had shifted. It was a crystal clear day. I did find someone who took a photograph of sort of this area here, and it's crystal clear. It was one of those same days, and so I may be able to work back into this. All right. Um, look at that sky. Now, here's your classic. There are no clouds, right? It's just a nice, clear sort of summery sky. It's actually an autumn or a uh, sky october sky you see right along here we have red it's barely barely there so you can go real light with it because usually what we see is orange where it's already mixed in with the yellow and then as it goes up it kind of goes white and then goes into the blue I think I talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. When you have the ocean in the sky, the ocean has, it comes farther this way, dark blue, before it goes to green. And just a tiny touch of yellow and red, it, it's there, but barely there. Um, we see more of the dark blue here than we do in the sky because the sky is, you know, it's off here. It's up high. It's, it's like, it's way up here. So those long blue rays are way up high there. Whereas here, we're at the surface of the ocean and the long blue rays are going down into the bottom of the ocean before they come up. Okay, your shortest rays are red. The next length of color rays are yellow and the next length of color rays are blue. And those are our primary colors, the ones we mix everything out of. Let me just go in real quick. But these are um, done from life, so you, know, you just... And um, I often had the chance to work several days on it because I'm doing this from my house with the view that I have and had. I'm, Losing this, I think. I love the windmill. All right, here again, it's a nice October sky. It's a little later in the day. It's November. It's a little late, later in the season. And we're getting more red coming up there and more intense color, but still no clouds or anything to, to deal with. Um, this one's nice. I felt like redoing it because I was so anxious to get the wires in that I, I thought I put them in too large. 
but they're okay now that I look back at it. If you've seen my other videos, it's um, I'm real happy when I look at my work after a long time. <laughs> and then this one is a mood that I had wanted to do for so long, the clouds, and it was a cloud bank that came in the moment a, a friend and neighbor of ours died here. So it's a special effect that I really, really like, and it was the day that she died, and it moved in just as she died. Another neighbor noticed it, too. She was at the airport she, when she landed, and it was there. Anyway, so that was, um, this is called Clodel's Fog. Uh, I can't, better hold it up instead of stick my head in there. I don't think I put any color down for the sky. What I wanted to do was this, and I did it, and I was done. <laughs> I wanted a record of what I could see. Uh, these different little inlets and coves and things and as realistically as I could at that time. Also, this time of year, there's a golden yellow light that shines back here and here at somebody's house but this time of year. So I have vowed to try to catch that too. And then this is one of two pièce de résistance ones. This is the one I use on my business card. Getting the color of this fog. It's purple. It's a whole lot of water. But it's basically purple. And then the green and this is not a tube green, this is just the name, it's a celadon green, which I was imitating by mixing my colors. Celadon, C-E-L-A-D-O-N, is a special Japanese and Chinese glaze that is this real pretty greenish, bluish color. This is a beautiful overcast day. The other piece de resistance is a an acrylic, and it has the steam from these. I'm going to go get it. 